Welcome to my Cisco Scaling Network Lab review. Here we're doing Lab 9125. We're using Packet Tracer. This is going to be using a TFTP server to upgrade a Cisco IOS. So I already have Packet Tracer up and running. I'm going to go ahead and go to my TFTP server. And first thing it wants us to do is access the TFTP server and enable the appropriate TFTP services. Services, go ahead and make sure that TFTP is turned on. And it is now. So we're going to go ahead and give it a minute and we're going to get on R1. So let's go ahead and hop on R1, get to our CLI. Get to our probably exact mode. Let's go into show flash. We'll see that our flash is here. We'll see the appropriate image files. We'll see the uh, versions. We'll see processor board, all of that. Show flash directory file name we'll see the file loading so next we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy an ip base with strong encryption ios that'll be the ip base k9 from our tftp server to the router so what we're going to do is copy tftp to flash address or remote name, go ahead and type in the appropriate file information, 2.254, source file, destination, let it access, let it copy, and there we go. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and use boot system command. We want it to boot our new configuration. So let's go ahead and hop into our configuration mode. We're going to tell it boot system flash. We want it to boot our new version. Let's go ahead and save the configuration. Copy, run, start. And we want to reload it. So that should reload with the appropriate image. It's now decompressing our image file. And there is our version. It happens to be the IP base K9, IP base K9. And that's the appropriate version that we told it to boot off. So we are good there. So go and access the TFTP server and copy the 2960 LAN base to switch one. All right, so let's hop over to switch one, CLI, enable. What we were looking at, we're gonna be copying that guy. So what we wanna do is copy TFTP flash host name. So part of that is we're gonna to have to again do the same IP address as before, because that happened to be the TFTP server. Source file. Is that guy right there.
source file again is this guy right here. Let it access it. Oh, I typed in the wrong IP address. That should fail because that should be 254, not just 54. So it should eventually time out. All right, so let's try this again. Host 192.168.2.254. File name. Okay, so there it's accessing. There it copied over, so we are good to go. So verify the new image with a show flash. There we have both our files. Reload and verify the new image is being loaded into inventory. So just like we did up here, config t, we want boot system flash and then paste the file we want at the boot. All right, did not like that. So boot system question mark. And let's go ahead and save it. Let's copy, run, start. Reload. And give it a minute so it will reload the new image. And it loaded the correct image. All right, so last part of this is, let's go ahead and do part two. So it tells us to get to R2. We're at a user exec mode. Let's go ahead and do a show flash. We can see the uh, files we need. So here, we want to back up this guy right here. So to do that, we do copy, flash, tftp. So we do that backwards now. Source file, we're gonna paste what file we wanna copy. Address, we're gonna type in the tftp server's IP. We're gonna tell it a name. It will write. And there we go. That is this lab in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.